is something you've you've noticed all along but you just haven't paid attention to so the next thing that we're going to look at we i was writing on the board that when we subtract two or more numbers the order in which they are arranged is important we can therefore say subtraction is non-commutative because commutative said you could arrange it in any way and it didn't matter all right and then you're going to write this example for me for example 7 minus 6 is not the same thing as 6 minus 7 I mean it kind of is it's just in negative form yeah one and negative one is not the same thing if you tell your computer if you are coding for example you're programming a computer and you mistakenly put a negative one instead of a one that could mean chaos that one little number could mean chaos trust me all right all right now we're gonna look so we just finished subtraction we're gonna look into what division has to talk about commutative law so to explain division i'm gonna draw everybody's favorite food Pizza. Alright, I'm going to draw a pizza on the board. Can I rub this off? Can I rub this off, everybody? Yes, sir. Alright. Yes, David, pay attention for me. Remember, I am the all-seeing teacher. Zenordo, I mean Ludi, can you turn the camera on for me? Before we move on to this topic, everybody must be sir, paying attention. Sir, I switched the uh, computer and like the lab there's like and um uh, it's a macbook and with but with like windows system mm -hmm. and like i can't turn on my camera like, all right i'll i'll help you with that after class just remind me to i'll help you with that all right everybody ready let's get into it now let me just begin recording again one second okay i am recording excellent let's draw a pizza with 12 slices pizza with 12 slices So, here we go. Matter of fact, to save time, because... There we go. That, that's what I was worried about. I knew that the time was going to be up. What? Alright. Quickly, yeah, that's what I was worried about. So to save time, I'm going to drop a smaller pie. So here's my pie. That is a perfect circle, everybody. Uh, sir, you're muted. That is a perfect circle. Can everybody see the board? That's a perfect circle, right? There we go. Yep, just like the line. <laughs> Alright, so I wanted to draw not 12 slices. Instead, I wanted to draw 5 slices. Alright? So here we go. Here's the first division. So five slices in this pizza. Alright? We're gonna draw two of these. So here's the next one. Hopefully this can be as perfect as this. Let's draw it right here. Oh my gosh! There we go. That's perfect as well. Alright, let's draw another five slices here. That is low. Alright. Okay, now let's say I want to give a slice to each person that came back into the Zoom. So five persons came back into the Zoom. I'm going to give each of you a, a slice of pizza. All right? Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, share two pizzas. Share two pizzas equally. Among among ten 
students. That's the instruction. We're going to share two pizzas equally among 10 students. How would we originally do this? Wouldn't we have said two divided by 10 students is equal to one fifth? So in other words, Emma would have gotten a slice Khalil would have gotten a slice and Jazeel would have gotten a slice just the same alright so if we divide two pizzas by ten persons each person will get a fifth of the pizza right one fifth of the pizza would be one slice agreed can I get some yes sirs yes sir all right, but let me blow your brain out for a moment. What if I swap the positions of these two values? What if I said I'm gonna put 10 in front and then two after? Do you think I'm gonna get the same one fifth? Yes, let's check it. So instead of saying two divided by 10, let's say 10 divided by two. What is 10 divided by 2, everybody? Anybody? What's 10 divided by 2? Alright, let me ask. Let me ask one person. Oh, Jazzy, you said 5? Alright, so 5. That means Jazzy would have gotten 5 slices of pizza if he was to get 10 pizzas divided by two persons. So Jazeel would have got five pizzas. Five slices of pizza. This entire pizza would belong solely to Jazeel and this entire pizza would belong solely to Nicholas, for example. So that's why that's why division is not commutative because it doesn't allow me to share equally in the same because five and one fifth is not the same. All right, write this example for me and then I'm gonna continue the class for 10 minutes and you're gonna watch the 10 minutes as your homework for today. All right, it's gonna be a trivia question in the 10 minutes. So that's how I'll know if you watch the video. I'm gonna put a quick trivia in the 10 minutes so have a great day everybody if you have any questions just let me know in the whatsapp group okay all right take care you should see the homework in about a few minutes take care everybody all right let's continue for those who are watching it virtually online so as i said sharing two pizzas equally among 10 students will be 2 divided by 10 which is 1 fifth that means one person would have gotten a slice here we go this slice would be for one person one second so this, sli this slice would be for one person now with that said, let's quickly write now um, 10 divided by 2, so 10 pizza, so we swap it around because we're trying to see if commutative law works. So we swap it around, so we say 10 divided by 2, instead of each person getting one fifth of a pizza, we're saying each person get 5 slices of pizza. Alright? Sorry, not 5 slices, but 5 pizzas itself. Right, so that's a little correction. It should not be five slices, but rather five pizzas itself. So we're gonna draw, let's say, one more pizza right here. One more pizza right here. And one more pizza right here. These pizzas would go 
to that one person if we were to share it as 10 divided by 2 just the same. Alright? So that's the correction, my bad. 10 divided by 2 would mean one person gets 5 pizzas. Alright? Versus 2 divided by 10, which would be one person gets one fifth of one pizza. Alright. Now, with that said, let's quickly move on into the next thing I wanted to talk about. Okay, Google. Tell me a joke. What do you call a shoe made out of a banana? A slipper. Thank you, Google. All right. So with that joke said, let's move on now. What I wanna? Okay, Google. Okay, Google. What time is it? It's nine thirty-three a.m. All right, nine thirty-three. All right, let me quickly now cover one important thing before we finish. All right, so here's the next thing. I want you to prove whether or not the following answers is commutative, yes or no. So, we learned, not the following questions, the following operations. We learned addition, multiplication, all right, now in addition I gave you the formula which was, for example, A plus B plus C, you can swap it to say A plus C plus B. For multiplication, I told you you could say A times B times C will be the same thing as saying A times C times B. And then what we just learned today was that subtraction subtraction all right. If I said a, remember, if I said a minus b, would b minus c be the same thing? And if I said for for division, if I said for division now. A divided by B would B divided by A be the same. That's the summary of what we've learned for today. All right, these are the formulas. But for these two, we're saying that it is not true. You cannot say that when you switch the positions, you will get the same answer. Because if you have a value that has one, for example, divided by two, 1 divided by 2 is not the same thing as 2 divided by 1 because you switch, switch them. All right? If you have 1 minus 2, that's not the same thing as saying 2 minus 1. And that's the end of today's class. Now, your homework was to write these four operations, general rule and the final two on what the rule couldn't be. All right, now here's your trivia question. I told you if you watch this recording, you're gonna get a trivia question. Okay, Google, what time is it? 9.37 a.m. So at 9.37 a.m., here's a trivia question. Let's write it on the board. Quickly write it right here. Let's quickly write it right here. You're going to tell me if I have 15 times 18 times 4, right? I want you to swap it in two different ways and prove commutative law. So you can swap A and C 
or you can swap B with any of these two. Alright? That's one. And the next question is, alright? True or false? So, T or F? Is your first question? Is 2 multiplied by 6 equal to 6 divided by 2? It's question 1. Is 2 multiplied by 3 times 8 the same thing as 2 times 3? times 8 alright question 1 question 2 so you get 3 questions for homework those are your 3 quick trivia questions and then next class we're going to work on a bit more and then we're going to practice associative law thank you for watching and have a great day